looking at the whole idea of refuge and the search for refuge. Where do you go when, when nations have closed their doors to you? Where do you go? What kind of documentation do you need to get out of Germany? What, kind, what documents do you need? What kind of money do you need to emigrate? These are all issues that you have to bring up with your students so that they understand why they were trapped in Europe. Okay, well, this chart that we see here, this is the forced immigration chart that Adolf Eichmann's office produced to show how it was able to expel within three years most of Vienna's Jewish population. After the Anschluss, after Kristallnacht, this is when Jews in the occupied territories, Germany, Austria, parts of the Czech uh, Czechoslovakia, um, after Kristallnacht, they realize that they, they can no longer stay. Um, life is just not bearable anymore. In fact, it's dangerous now. And in many cases, many of them actually bought visas to get out. Some countries made money, some diplomats made money selling fraudulent visas that turned out to be no good. And that is what happened with the voyage of the St. Louis. Out of the 937 passengers who were on the boat, almost, I think all but maybe six to eight of them were Jewish. They needed to get out, and Cuba was the destination of this ship, the St. Louis. It was owned by the Hamburg Line, Hamburg America. Um, so they had received, they had acquired visas to go to Cuba, where they were planning to stay until their numbers came up to come to the United States. But before they reached Cuba, their visas were rescinded. In fact, many of them were fraudulent. Only about 28 of them were actually valid. So when they got to Havana, they were not allowed to dock. Only those who had valid visas, which was just a minuscule number out of the over 900, those, were allowed, those people were allowed to stay, and the rest could not get off the boat. 